You're watching my free plant-based cooking class. We are live. My name is Cheryl Martinez and I'm the founder of Beginner Cooking. Today we are making curried lentils and you can get the recipe on my blog, beginnercooking.com. All the ingredients and everything you need is right there. All right, guys. So to make curried lentils, you need some dried lentils, which should be soaked overnight or for at least four hours before you start making this recipe, just to cut down the cooking time, right? Okay, then you're going to need some onions, just about four ounces is fine, which is like maybe about a half of an onion. You're gonna need three ounces of carrots, which is about two carrots. You're going to need some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna need some curry powder, okay? Only a uh, two tablespoons of curry powder. You're going to need some fresh ginger or some dried ground ginger. I'm using fresh ginger today. Always use fresh if you can, if you have it. Otherwise, if you're trying to save time and make things a little easier, um, grounds is fine. Uh, some fresh tomatoes, obviously, or if you don't have fresh tomatoes, you can use organic diced tomatoes. But like I always say, try to choose, if you're use, buying cans, try to get the can that says no salt added and non-BPA lining. And of course, organic organic, right? And uh, then you're gonna need some water, two tablespoons of vegetable stock paste. If you don't have vegetable stock paste, you can use um, a vegetable stock cube and just crumble up that cube. That works fine too. Trying to simplify it. And that's it, that's all you need to make this recipe. If you want some fun sides to serve with it, I recommend some brown basmati rice or some vegan naan bread. Um, and uh, I'm gonna say hello to everyone who's in the chat. You guys get all those ingredients prepped and ready to go, and then we're gonna start cooking, all right? Again, go to beginnercooking.com. This is the most recent blog post there where you can see the curried lentils recipe that we are about to make together live. All right, hello Shaq McCormick, what's up girl? Hey Ricky Corcoran, hi Karen, what's up everybody? Hi Veggie Portion, hi Casey, hi Thermal Magics, and uh, Irby Vorify, and, uh, and Christian, and we got Wine Grape, Tim, Mike, Grant, Chris, What's up, everybody? You're watching my free plant-based cooking class. I do this every other Sunday, same place, same time at 4 p.m. Eastern time at facebook.com slash Cheryl dot 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 uh, slash Cheryl dot TV. And if you'd like to get a reminder before we go live, you can just RSVP on my blog, beginnercooking.com. Click that RSVP button, and then I'll send you an email reminder one hour before we go live so you don't miss out and so you can get all your ingredients ready and so you can actually cook along with us in real time. So um, yeah, I, I love cooking with you guys um, on Sundays and uh, I always share my favorite, uh, most fantastic plant-based recipes, the ones that, uh, that are easy to make, delicious and plant-based, obviously, all right? And I'm taking suggestions too. So if you guys want me to try to veganize your favorite recipe, let me know what it is and, uh, and I'll work my magic because it's 2021 and you know we can probably make almost anything vegan nowadays, right? Are you with me? Are you with me? Um, Karen says here with Julian and he said, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, give Julian a big hug and kiss for me. Oh, I love you guys. Uh, Southern Mary. What's up, Southern Mary? What's up, Leanna? Veggie Portion, where are you tuning in from? Guys, say hello in the chat. Comment in the chat so I know you're here. I only know you're here if you say hello. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Tell me if you're cooking with me live or if you're just hanging out and having some fun in the chat with all of my other beginners. All right, guys, again, we are making curried lentils. For those of you just tuning in, you can get all the recipe details on my blog, beginnercooking.com. We are making this together live, so make sure you have everything prepped, ready to go, because we are about to begin. I got my fresh tomatoes, I got my soaked lentils. If you've been soaking your lentils overnight, make sure to rinse them in a strainer um, and uh, and so this way it's all ready. All right, guys, do we have any questions before we get started? Pauline says hello from Hudson. What's up? What's up, Pauline? All right, guys, so I'm going to be using my 
TM6 Robot Chef, also called a Thermomix, but I like to call him my Robot Chef because he is my assistant in the kitchen and he makes it easier to do these live cooking classes with you guys because he helps me out with the cooking. But if you don't have my TM6 Robot, you can absolutely still cook along with me on your stove. You might have to do a little bit extra work than me and my robot, but that's okay. Anyone can make this recipe. Like I said, it's super easy to make, like all of the recipes I share at my live cooking classes and on my blog. Guaranteed easy, guaranteed delicious, guaranteed plant-based, all right? I promise it's easy being vegan when you know how to cook for yourself and when you know how to flavor things. And, um, and because vegans do spend a lot of time cooking for themselves, it's awesome to have a little helping hands in the kitchen, which is why I always highly recommend my fabulous robot because he makes things so much fun and so much more efficient. If anyone knows anything about me, I like things that are fast, easy, and efficient. So that's why I love this thing, all right? So get your stove ready, get your food chopper ready, whatever you need to get started. The first thing that we're gonna do, if you're using ground ginger, don't worry about this part, you can skip it. If you're using fresh ginger, I want you to quickly chop up your fresh ginger till it's fine. If you don't have my TM6 robot or a food chopper to chop up your fresh ginger, you can just grate your ginger, okay? You can grate it and then that'll turn it into fine pieces as well. All right, so really quick, I'm going to chop up my fresh ginger just to um, get that ready for us before we start cooking. All right, so I'm gonna say, if you're using your TM6 robot, put it to about maybe like six or seven seconds and we're gonna chop that. Let's try chopping it at around the speed of six and see how that goes. Okay. Maybe up to eight. And that sounds about done. Okay. And then you can just take a quick peek and if it looks fine enough to you, then, um, then you're good to go. And yeah, that looks perfect. I'll show you guys really quick and easy. My robot chef chopped up that ginger for me so I don't have to sit there, you know, grating it. So that was a quick, easy step, which allows me to use fresh ginger instead of ground ginger just to take my lentil curry to the next level, right? I always say use fresh if you can, all right guys? So now we're gonna get started with this recipe. So I go to my week, because my TM6 has all the recipes planned out for me for my week, and I click on the curry lentils recipe. By the way, this is his recipe, I cannot take credit, but, um, but I did um, alter a few little things to make it my own, um, even though there are tons of amazing, already plant-based recipes in the Thermal Mix like this one, I also veganize a lot of the Thermal Mix recipes as well. He has 60,000 recipes preloaded, step-by-step ready to go. So again, the first thing he's saying to do, which we have already done, which is, Weigh about 10 ounces of dried lentils, cover it with water, and let it soak for at least four hours or overnight, okay? Then we already rinsed and drained that, and that's the step that we are on now. So the first thing you want to do is add about four ounces of yellow onions, okay? You can chop this by hand, or you can use your food chopper if you don't have my TM6 robot, okay? That is step one, is to add your onions. All right, are you with me? If you would need me to slow down, if you're cooking along with your TM6 or on the stove and you need an extra minute or two, just comment in the chat and we'll hang out and chat for a little bit with some of my other beginners while you catch up, all right? We're just here relaxing, having fun. It's Sunday fun day, so don't worry about a thing. So the next step is to add your three ounces of carrots, all right? And again, that's about two, two carrots. You don't have, these measurements don't have to be a super, super exact, okay? So don't worry if you're eyeballing it, if you don't have to wait, if you don't have a way to measure. My TM6 has a built-in scale, so he's measuring everything as I put in it, which makes it super convenient. Again, another like quick, simple step. Um, that I don't have to worry about. So again, about two carrots comes out to about three ounces. Ooh, one little baby got away. Okay, we click next, and the next step is to add an ounce of extra virgin olive oil. If you are cooking in a part of the world that uses grams instead of ounces, just do a quick Google conversion and you can easily figure out what one ounce is in grams, okay? And if you don't have a way to measure, you could also just Google what one ounce is in cups, okay? So again, anybody can make this no matter where you are in the world and no matter what appliances you have to cook with, all right? Hi, Anissa, how are you, love? 
What's up? What's up, Indy Gourmet? What's up, Glorious132? Kat Rakowski is here. What's up, Kat? Kat, are you making some music today? All right, guys, the next step is to add two tablespoons of curry powder. You know, if you don't have curry powder, you can just Google how to make curry powder and by blending certain uh, amounts of a few different spices that you probably already have in your kitchen, you could go and easily make the curry powder yourself. Yes, all right guys, so we're doing two tablespoons of curry powder. Okay, here we go. Let's measure that. TM6 measures everything except for the spoons because the spoons are a little bit too small for accurate scale measurement. Okay, so there we go. My curry powder just ran out. So just to make life easier, what I'm going to do, which I also have in my kitchen, is some garam masala, which is like a similar kind of spice to curry powder. So I'm going to just fill up the rest of this tablespoon with a little bit of this spice. Plus, you know, it might give it some cool flavor. I make this recipe all the time, so it's fun to experiment a little bit and get creative in the kitchen. All right, there we go. So now we have our two tablespoons worth of spices, which is going to give this lentil curry that amazing flavor. If you guys like Indian food, oh, you're just like me. I actually spent some time living in India, so um, I am a huge, huge fan of Indian food or anything with like Indian flavor or curry flavor, so this lentil curry is my jam. All right, now the next step is to add your dried ginger. If you didn't already um, uh, grate your fresh ginger like we did before, okay? This would be the point in the recipe where you can add a teaspoon of your dried ground ginger. Okay, now I'm going to put the top on, and before I do that, let me show you what it looks like real quick. So we have our onions in here, we have our carrots in here, we have our fresh ginger in here, we have our curry powder in here, um, yeah, and our olive oil, okay? That's everything that we put in our uh, food chopper or TM6 robot so far, and now we're gonna chop all this together, okay? And after we chop all of that together, then we're gonna saute. All right, there's only a couple steps to make this recipe. You'll see in my blog, four steps, only four steps to make this most delicious uh, lentil recipe that I've ever tried, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So I'm gonna turn the knob, to speed five and chop it for three seconds so that all the veggies are chopped up together along with that olive oil and curry spices, okay? So after that's chopped, I'll show you what it looks like now. Really fast and easy, that's why I love my TM6. Oh my God, you see how fast that was to chop everything? How cool, right? Super cool? Yes. Mmm, and it already smells amazing. Oh God, I love the smell of those spices, I really do. Okay, so now I'm just going to just make sure everything is towards the bottom so that it properly sautés it all. And again, at this point, if you are not using my TM6 robot, this is when you would want to transfer your chopped vegetables to a pot on the stove, a pot large enough that can fit all of these lentils and the tomatoes that you're about to add next, okay? So transfer this to a pot on your soap and now you're going to saute all of that together for approximately five minutes at approximately 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I love how with the Team 6, the, um, the, the temperature is like always exact, which is why the food probably comes out perfect and we're seen every single time. But if you were making this on the stove, you can estimate what 250 degrees Fahrenheit is. And again, if you're always, you know, a little confused, you can just Google what is 250 degrees Fahrenheit on my stove? And then they'll tell you how far to turn your knob, okay? So you can always figure things out, things to Google, but if you have my TM6 robot and you're cooking along with me live right now, I know it's like paint by numbers, super easy, and you're probably here just to have some fun because uh, like I said, he's doing the work for you. So um, yeah, all right, let's see who else is here. Manny G is here, I love you too, Manny G. Thanks for watching. What are you up to today? Anissa says she's super fine, and you, I am fantabulous. Wanna know why? Because this is my favorite day of the week. 
Sunday fun day when I get to cook live with you guys and help spread that plant-based love. And you know why else today is so great? It's because it's my free giveaway day. You guys remember I give away a free pair of plant-based earrings at every single live cooking class. What do you have to do to enter to win? You know, spread the plant-based love. That's all you have to do is click that share button and invite more people to eat healthier and live kinder and save some animals and save the planet. And by doing that, um, you are automatically entered to win my free pair of earrings, which I am going to be announcing the winner later in the class. So don't go anywhere and click that share button right now. You can share this class to your um, Facebook profile. You can share it to your story. You can share it to a vegan Facebook group, a recipe group. You can share it on your Instagram story. I don't care. Share it anywhere. Send it some text to some friends. Get them to come hang out with us and help inspire someone who you know that really needs to transition to a healthier lifestyle. Again, if you're trying to go vegan, that's awesome, but we are a no judgment zone. We just try to help inspire people to adapt a plant forward lifestyle. Now, I've explained this a few times. I hope it's catching on. Do you guys know what plant forward means now? I think you do. Plant forward means you just want to add more plants to your life. It just means that you want to try to predominantly eat plants without having to maybe put yourself in such a specific box. It took me eight years to go from vegetarian to vegan and uh and obviously it took me my whole life until that until until i went vegetarian um to be able to make that transition so i have absolutely no judgment in anyone's personal journey however long it takes you to reach your goals and get to where you're comfortable at um you know with your diet and your lifestyle that is all up to you and i will support you no matter what that journey is and no matter where you are along that path all right guys if you go to beginner cooking.com and if you click on resources see there's a resources tab right up here you will see a bunch of free resources that can help you transition to a plant forward lifestyle okay and i have tons of easy recipes i have a free 30-day challenge i have a plant forward success program um, with multiple stages depending on how far into it you want to go so i pretty much have everything i created a support site this is for you guys this is something that i wish that i had when i was trying to transition and then you know what maybe it wouldn't have taken me so long to get to this point if i had something like this that could have helped me when i first started so that's why i created this that was my inspiration behind all this and um and i hope it helps you guys and i really enjoy seeing all of the, your photos and pictures and comments and just hearing about your journeys and even uh, the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I do with some of you is just really just so rewarding. And uh, I know that for every one of you that I help eat more plants means that we're both helping to save animals. So that is just so amazing. So thank you for helping me save animals. By you being here today, that's exactly what you are doing. So please continue to spread that plant-based love so you can enter to win a plant based earrings of your choice. And I have all different kinds, guys. If you click on merch at beginnergooking.com, you'll see all these different kinds of earrings and some other cool goodies that I have in my shop besides earrings. You know, I got I have some manly stuff on there too for all the men watching. But um but yeah, I have strawberry earrings, pineapple earrings, um watermelon earrings, cucumber earrings, grapefruit earrings, lemon earrings. Uh, kiwi earrings um, and these are the orange earrings that I'm wearing today too. So I have all these different kinds of plant-based earrings that you can wear to not only be proud of your decision to eat more plants but to help spread that love around you because the people that see the plants will hopefully also be inspired by you wearing them. All right? All right guys, the next step, we just finished sauteing our veggies and spices. All right? Are you guys with me? We are like five minutes into the recipe. If you guys are cooking along, I'm super hyped. The next step is to add our tomatoes. I'm gonna to show you real quickly what that looks like now that is that, that is all sauteed. And if you were cooking along with me live right now, you can smell how amazing that smells, smelling up my kitchen, making it smell like, like Indian gold right now. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mmm. Okay, guys, we are adding our tomatoes. Again, if you're using fresh tomatoes, depending on how, 
How um, chunky you like your tomatoes in your lentil curry is completely up to you. I like chunky tomatoes, so I didn't chop them too fine, but if you want the tomatoes to be, um, you know, to be smaller in your curry, smaller pieces, feel free to chop them a little more fine than this, or you can get diced tomatoes in a can, make it even easier for yourself. But again, I always say, make sure you get organic, make sure you get no salt added, and make sure you get a non-BPA lining if you are buying cans instead of fresh, which we all gotta do it sometimes to simplify our lives, that's okay. Just choose a can that says organic, no salt added and non-BPA lining, all right guys? So if you are with me, we are adding four, we are adding 14 and a half ounces of canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes. And this can is exactly 14 and a half ounces, okay? So here we go, adding our fresh tomatoes to our sauteed veggies all right that's where we are in the recipe if you're just tuning in head over to beginnercooking.com all right and you can get the ingredient list so you can catch up with us what's up kirby billet what's up corey Brumet? what's up gusta what's up Pwalk money danny williams edward Tom Abate is here. Hello, Tom Abate. How are you? Tom and Julian. Hey, guys. What's up, Anna Alvarez? Hi, Anna. How are you, love? So glad to see some familiar faces back in here. How did I get those to look so good on you? What, the earrings or, or what are you referring to? Me encantan tus clases de cocina. I love your cooking classes. Thank you so much, Anna, and I love having you here. Thank you for your love and support. Hey, Alina, what's up? Alina is here too. And Mix and My TM is here. And Karine is here. And Indie Gourmet, what's up, guys? Guys, we are in the middle of making a lentil curry. I, I got my lentils ready to go if you're cooking along with me live. Uh, make sure that you have soaked your lentils overnight, all right? If you haven't, just hang out and chat with everybody in the comments and you can make it later, right? Darren Jones is here. Uh, I'm your dad's friend, Mel Joyce from Dublin, Ireland, living in Dublin, Ireland. That, Ireland, that's amazing. Well, welcome, welcome, Darren. If this is your first time here, uh, we do this every other Sunday. This is a free plant-based cooking class where we all cook along together live and have some fun. It's uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, at facebook.com slash cheryl.tv. And if you click on the RSVP button on my blog, beginnercooking.com, I will send you an email reminder one hour before we go live so you don't miss out, all right? So let me get back to the recipe. Again, this is what we're making right now, curried lentils. All the ingredients are up here on my blog. If you are uh, just tuning in, you can go and catch up and see where we're at right now, okay? We are pretty much almost done. There's not a lot of work left to do. Right now we're adding uh, the tomatoes. You can see I just added the fresh tomatoes to our sauteed um, veggies and spices. And we are now adding 20 ounces of water, okay? Add 20 ounces of water to your pot on your stove if you are not using my TM6, okay? 20 ounces, here we go. And he's weighing it for me, which is amazing because he knows exactly when I need to stop pouring that water, which makes it super simple to make these recipes just absolutely perfect. Okay, so after we add the water, we're going to add two teaspoons of vegetable stock paste, okay? This is what vegetable stock paste looks like. If you don't have paste, you can use a cube, that's fine. Try to get the cubes in the paste that are low sodium if possible, if you can find it. Obviously, I always recommend low sodium. And, um, and yeah, and if you're using a cube, just crumble up that cube, okay? So it like evenly disperses. Okay, here we are doing two teaspoons of your vegetable stock paste or cube. And you are adding this to the pot on your stove right now if you are cooking along on your stove instead of with your TM6 robot. But if you are loving my TM6 robot right now, do you guys know that I have promo codes? I have promo codes so you can save 50 bucks on your own one of these and I can also set you up with the free demo. So if you're interested with that, you can also schedule that free demo on my blog, if you just click on Robot Chef on the menu of my blog, click on Robot Chef and you can schedule your free demo and ask for a promo code right there. I will hook you up 
All right. Now we are adding our lentils. Okay, guys. Add your lentils this step, and then we can just set it, let the robot cook, and walk away, go do something else while he does all of the work for us. How cool is that, right? Right? Those of you that are cooking along with me live, are you with me? Are you on the same step? Huh? Who's ready to eat some yummy lentils for dinner today? Are you sharing it with your fam? Are you inviting people over for dinner? All right, guys, we added our lentils, and now we're gonna put the top on. And guys, we're almost done. This was the last step. This was the last step. Do you see how easy that recipe was? Do you see how easy? All right, so about 45 minutes, you are going to cook all of that together until your lentils get to that perfect, you know, semi-soft texture where when you just scoop a little bit of that lentil curry in your mouth, the lentils just kind of melt in your mouth and that flavor just fills up your cheeks and you end up wanting to eat like the whole bowl. That's when you know that it's done and ready, okay? Darren, what's up, Darren? I think he's talking about your earrings. You were on the video if I were a boy by Beyonce. Yes, I was. In my video vixen days, I did a ton of music videos. I've done music videos with 50 Cent, Diddy, Jules Santana, Jim Jones, Neo, Jadakus, Beyonce. Um, gosh, I, I can't even remember how many I've done, but, but, but that, those were the olden days when my whole life was about the entertainment industry. Now my whole life is about helping people uh, helping the planet and helping to save animals by helping people um, eat more plants. That is my current situation in life. And thanks to the pandemic inspiring me to try something new, that was kind of helped, that was kind of like my catalyst to go and, and, and uh, push this passion of mine. I've always had this passion to want to save animals. And, um, and I finally figured out a way to do that. And I couldn't be happier to be sharing this with you guys. So um, yeah, guys, we, we are done. I'm not gonna sit here that during this whole 40, 45 minutes while this is cooking, I'm gonna wrap up the class pretty soon today. So if you didn't share yet, make sure you click that share button and spread the plant-based love so you can enter to win my inspiration earrings, my plant-based earrings, okay? Again, you can pick any pair you want from my site, all right, guys? I have all different types of plants to choose from. It doesn't have to be the orange one. It could be any pair that you love. I'm going to send the winner a special promo code that you can use to select any pair of earrings from the site, all right? Anissa says, how is it you were in so many videos? I'm so impressed. Uh, well, I mean, um, my whole life has been working in the entertainment industry. Um, my, my, my previous company before Beginner Cooking was called Tools for Talent, where I helped provide tools, tips, and advice for, um, for aspiring talent and for professional talent to help them enhance their careers and improve their social media presence and get more gigs. Um, so I managed a ton of talent um, and I was able to do that because prior to managing talent, I was uh, in the industry myself. So when I first moved to Manhattan, I went on like five auditions a day. Anything from singing, dancing, acting, modeling, wherever I could get a job, I was auditioning for that because I just wanted to be on stage and entertain and um, and I loved it I really did but um, but I knew there was always something missing because as cool as that job was it wasn't allowing me to pursue my bigger deeper more meaningful passion which is saving animals I always 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 wanted to figure out a way somehow in my life where I could save animals I mean I, I would donate to animal sanctuaries how, however much I could afford um, I would go visit sanctuaries and um, I, you know I did whatever I could, but I felt like making a donation here and there, you can only save so many animals that way. You can't really make a big impact. So by helping people eat more plants, that's a way I can make a huge impact and save a ton more animals than I could have any other way. So, um, so that's why I'm doing this now. So beginner cooking is still fairly new. I launched this blog um, the beginning of last year. And, um, and since then, it's just been incredible. The, the feedback that I've got, 
and the support that I get from you guys and hanging out with you guys in these live cooking classes has made it all worth it. Um, I love doing this with you guys, so please continue to help me to spread the plant-based love so we can save more animals together and also just better your health. Guys, I'm telling you, when I when I went, when I went um, fully vegan, my acne cleared up, my bloating went away, um, I slept better, I had more energy. Um, I used to have a lot of like phlegm and congestion all the time, that cleared up tremendously. So I mean, I just started noticing all these different health benefits that came out of it and I was just like, wow, I think this is my body trying to tell me that we are not supposed to be consuming the types of foods that society has brainwashed us to think that we are supposed to be consuming. So then I started doing a lot of research on my own. And if you are considering going all the way vegan instead of just, you know, um, mostly plant-based, I highly recommend you get educated and do some of your own research. Um, and there are also tons of really, really, really great Netflix films that, um, that really are eye-opening and can help shed some light on a lot of this as well too. Some of the ones that I recommend all the time are uh, What the Health, uh, The Game Changers, and Cowspiracy. All of those flicks are on Netflix, and um, and they're really en really enjoyable films, and they'll really just have your eyes like glued to the TV, like, oh my God, oh my God, there's just so much information that we've been just, uh, we've been closed off to. And once you open your eyes to this and open your heart to it, you realize that, um, you know, the way things are going on in the world aren't really the way they're supposed to be. And I think that's why um, you see all of these new plant-based brands keep popping up all over the place. And um, plant-based is the future. So many things are leaning in that direction nowadays. Whether you wanna be vegan or not, you're going to see a huge plant-based um, transition in, in, in a lot of the population and a lot of the stores and a lot of the restaurants, not just because of the animal cruelty, but because of you know what's going on with our planet and our rainforest and the sustainability issues, um, uh, all of that. So, um, and if you want to live longer and reduce your, your, your risk of getting cancer, I mean, that should be reason enough, right? So yeah, I mean, I could go on and on and on about this forever, but, I, but it's, 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 it's different when you do your own research and you learn for yourself so you can make your own educated decision about it rather than just having someone tell you th these things, okay? So I highly recommend you, um, you just learn. Learn for yourself, for your own health and your own knowledge. Spicoli, what's up, Spicoli? Spicoli says, you rock. It's all about the animals and you're absolutely rad. Check out my fundraiser for my birthday. I think you will be very interested in it. Oh, happy birthday, Spicoli. When's your actual birthday? Sending you lots of big birthday hugs and blessings. All right, guys, I am getting ready to announce the winner of my inspiration earrings. Thank you to everyone who clicked that share button. I'm going to be announcing the winner in a few minutes. So if you haven't clicked that share button yet, do it now. Oh, Karen said that she it smells so, so, so good. I know you said you were cooking this, this lentil curry with us live today. So I'm so happy that your kitchen smells like mine right now because it's so good and I wanted to be able to share it with somebody. If any, if any Anyone else is cooking with me live. Do you do you feel those smells right now? Do you smell those smells right, right now? Anissa says happy birthday. Jazz Smith, what's up, Jazz Smith? What's up, Helen? All right, guys. I am announcing the winner of my inspiration earrings. So drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. And this week's winner is. Anna Alvarez! Congratulations, Anna! Everyone, please write congrats, Anna, in the chat. Show her some love. She just won a free pair of inspiration earrings. I'm going to be DMing you a special code where you can grab your own earrings uh, after this class right there on my blog, beginnercooking.com, and you can choose any pair you like. Okay, sweetheart? And, um, if you like this recipe, be sure to go check out some of the other recipes on my blog. They are all super, super easy to make and they all taste amazing. I share my 
favorite easy plant-based recipes. Most of them I learned from my robot and then I adapt them for the site so that anyone can make them with or without the robot. And then I upload them to beginnercooking.com so that you guys can, um, can, share, can share that with, uh, with your friends, your family, and your bellies, okay? All right, and then don't forget to check out the free resources and the free 30-day vegan challenge. Did you guys know that we have our own mobile app? Yes, I have a beginner cooking mobile app that is synced with the 30 day vegan challenge. So you can use that free tracking calendar to go and track your progress and results. Maybe you're not trying to go fully plant-based, but you're curious what kind of health benefits you might notice if you tried it out for like 30 days, totally legit, like gave it your all for 30 days. And, um, and you just kind of want to see like, would that inspire you to become, you know, a mostly plant-based person? So give the 30 day vegan challenge a try. You can do it on the go with uh, my free mobile app. And, um, and like I said, you can track your progress and, and results. And sometimes I sneak in there and take a peek and give you guys some encourage and some motivation and some tips. So, um, yeah, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you guys every step of the way, whatever you need beginnercooking.com is the place to be to help you eat more plants and to make it fun and easy. So thank you to everyone that stopped by my free plant-based cooking class today. When this lentil curry finishes, I'm going to take some pictures and video clips with it and I'm going to post that to my social media later so that you can see how mine came out and I want to see how yours came out too. So if you guys made this with me or if you're going to make it, please take some photos and tag me on social media at beginnercooking and I will repost it. I love seeing it. You know, you could also add your photos right on the blog underneath the recipe. You can, you can upload the photos whenever anyone else goes and tries to see uh, and looks up the, the curry lentils recipe, they can see your photo of it right there on the blog page too, which is super cool. All right, guys. Anna says, eres muy buena profesional. You are very good and professional. I'm, uh, I, um, Oh, thank you so much, Anna, and congratulations again on winning your inspiration earrings. Like I said, I'm going to be DMing you very, very soon with your promo code so you can go and get that order in. Anissa says, I'm waiting for my pineapple earrings. I can't wait. Yes, Anissa, uh, yours were uh, international shipping, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but they are on their way and should be here very, very soon. I can't wait for you to get them too. If you want to take a picture wearing them, I would love you for that and I would totally post that um, on my social. So please send me a picture in your earrings. Looking fabulous. Marie Eve, where have you been, Marie Eve? We just finished making the recipe. Next time, come on time because we've been missing having you in the chats, hanging out with you, Marie. Spicoli says, I'm bummed about... I'm bummed out that they took Forks or Knives off of Netflix for some dumb reason. Oh, I didn't realize that they took that one off of Netflix. When did they do that? Yeah, that one was a good one too, but but my top three are still the other ones. Um, I found that Forks Over Knives, even though the information was really valuable, it wasn't as like, um, it didn't kind of draw you in um, as far as like being like super fast paced with like all the fun knowledge being thrown in your face as as much as I'd say Cowspiracy and the Game Changers and, um, and, and what the health did. And the reason I say that is because um, a lot of people who go to watch them are people who let's say weren't really thinking about going vegan yet. So we kind of need to make sure that these movies are super, super like jam packed um, in, in an exciting kind of way that keeps them intrigued so that they stay and watch the whole thing, regardless of whether or not tr they're trying to go vegan. So I've shown my non-vegan friends, my vegan friends, all those three Netflix book stocks, I've tested it with a lot of people and everyone loves it, no matter what their dietary preference is, because it's just such an eye opener and they're just enjoyable films um, um as they are okay all right guys will you be there next sunday marie says marie we do this every other sunday now so um if you go to veganercooking.com and you click on the rsvp button then you can get uh, an email reminder one hour before we go live and if you're not getting those email reminders and you have rsvp make sure you check your junk folder and add um, uh, info at beginnercooking.com to your safe list, okay? So that, or your address book, so that you um, absolutely 
don't miss out on those email reminders. I'm also thinking about setting up maybe like a, like a text reminder situation if you guys think that would be more helpful. Because um, I know uh, not everyone checks their emails all the time, especially on the weekend. So maybe a text reminder might be more beneficial for you guys. So I'll look into that. All right, guys. Well, this was super fun. Enjoy your lentil curry. Share it with your friends and family. Eat up, stay healthy, stay well, and keep on spreading that plant-based love. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye!